Hello amigos, what's up? My name is CBATS and this is the brand new Zion We Build Lab. Zion gave me the opportunity to test this thing as one of the first persons ever under real conditions. So let's have a closer look. Zian announced the Weeble Lab just a few weeks ago at the Fotokina in Germany and there are already a lot of first looks and impression videos here on YouTube but I think you can't really tell anything about a product like this until you tried it under real conditions, right? So in this video I share my first experiences using the Weeble Lab under real conditions to my trip to Spain and also on a couple of free and paid projects. As this version of the Weeble Lab is still a sample version, I will mainly focus this video on the new design, how to handle it, the access locks, the new balancing and follow focus system. I wasn't able to try the camera controls and the wireless transmission to the smartphone yet because the beta app is still in Chinese and guess what? I don't understand anything. When I saw the Weeble Lab the first time at the Photokina show, I was really impressed and it felt like a really good innovation. After using this gimbal the last couple of weeks, I can tell you, this gimbal is an awesome tool for every filmmaker. But it's also different to handle than a normal one end gimbal, for example like the Crane Plus or Crane 2. But I think that's just the customary thing and you get used to it over time. The undersling mode of the Weeble Lab is definitely customer friendly and easier to use than the inverted mode of the Crane Plus or Crane 2. But screwing off the handle from the bottom part of the gimbal and screw it on the top part just makes me annoying and took way too much time. And you are also not able to put the gimbal on the ground after using undersling mode. You have to change the position of the handle again before. So I was looking for a good solution for this problem and the easiest thing you can do is using two handles. So you can use the Weeble Lab in upright mode and switch to undersling mode very fast. I already tried it and it works just great. Okay, short break at this point of the video because I just got the information from Zion that they will add a quick release kit to the Weeble Lab. So you're able to attach and detach the handle of the gimbal very quick and don't have the problem I just mentioned before. Yeah, back to the video. The follow focus system of the Weeble Lab works very similar to one of the Crane 2. Expect that the motors and the focus wheel itself are much smaller now. I usually use autofocus when I'm filming on a gimbal, but I installed it as a zoom motor instead and that was something that felt very useful to me, especially because you can set the sensitivity of the focus wheel to what feels best for you. Each axis of the gimbal now has a lock switch. This is A perfect for traveling or walking around with a turn off gimbal because nothing is bouncing around anymore and B a part of the new balancing system. But let me show you. We have a new design quick release plate with a Manfrotto and Arca Swiss mount. After installing the base plate on your camera, put the gimbal on the ground like this, lock the pan and roll axis and install the camera on the gimbal. Make sure the camera is balanced proper on the tilt axis, 
lock the tilt axis and unlock the roll axis. Now you can move the base plate by losing the screw underneath and move it left or right till the roll axis is balanced as well. And of course this principle also works for the pan axis. That's just genius, thanks Zion for adding this simple feature. I believe that makes balancing and transportation for a lot of us so much easier. The WeBuild app is able to balance up to 3kg of payload, so my Sony a7 III with a Tamron 28-75mm 2.8 lens wasn't a problem at all. But even if the motors are able to balance 3kg, this gimbal is mainly designed for mirrorless cameras with heavier prime lenses. So I believe it could be difficult to use it with front heavier zoom lenses for example. The mode control of the Weeble Lab is complete new and feels much more like on the Smooth 4 than on the Crane series. You have a pan following and lock switch, a button to switch seamless into following mode as long as you hold it and reset the camera by pressing it twice, a button to activate POV mode and another one for Go mode. Go mode is perfect for sports stuff or any kind of things where you have to do fast camera movements. One thing I also noticed when I was using it was that all the control buttons feel much more accessible when I was using it in upright mode because I inclined to switch my hands as soon as I go in undersling mode and because I'm right handed it feels kind of weird to use the control buttons with my left hand. As I said in the beginning I wasn't able to try the smartphone app and the wireless image transmission yet but what I can tell you is that the smartphone holder also fits the Zion 5 inch monitor with a battery. Of course you can't use all the cool features of the app then, but if you just need something to control your image and see what you're filming, it works perfect. The Weeble Lab seems to be the perfect gimbal for upcoming filmmakers, but also for travel and running gun shooters like me with a lightweight mirrorless camera setup. There are a lot of features superior to the Crane Plus or Crane 2, so I guess a lot of people will prefer the Weeble Lab more than a standard one hand gimbal. I will definitely use the Weeble Lab as my main gimbal, especially as soon as I get the final sales version. Having the strong motors and the high payload of 3kg, the camera controls of the Crane 2 and the portability of the Crane Plus and even a lot of more features combined in one gimbal is just awesome. Zian did a really great job on this one. What do you think about the Weeble Lab and have you already pre-ordered yours? Let me know in the comments down below, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel with notifications on so you see the final review of the Weeble Lab as soon as they get the sales version. So see you next time and ciao!